Now I got something to show you, and it's gonna be something momentous. Everybody, it's me, the excellent reviewer. Yes, I have a haircut. But that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about something else because we are only a few days removed from the superstar shakeup that happened just this week. And there have been quite a few good changes that happened, especially when it comes to the Monday Night roster, with Bray Wyatt officially moving from SmackDown all the way to Raw. Now, he's set to take on Randy Orton at payback at that house of horrors match and it also seems that he's going to feud with finn balor or there are some seeds have been placed for him to feud with finn balor and that seems to be in the works however we can't overlook the fact that he now has the ability to feud with one glorious person and i don't mean bobby Roode. i mean yes matt hardy i will delete you! Ah, yes! Because even though Matt Hardy is currently one half of the Raw Tag Team Champions, and Bray Wyatt is looking to get his WWE title back, there is still plenty of time and plenty of opportunities down the line to have these two feud with each other. I mean, just these two people are the characters. And the fact that you have broken Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt same roster has so much potential for greatness. I mean, could you just imagine the promos that these two could have with each other? Ah, uh, yes, broken Matt Hardy. So you don't know what everybody sees in Bray Wyatt and Sister Abigail. <laughs> See, you think that you find everything inside those lies of yours. Everybody knows that you can't be Sister Abigail. And Broken Matt Hardy, know what I say, that you need to run, follow the buzzards. <laughs> I'm here. <sighs> ah, yes! Ah, Bray Wyatt, the founder of the family of Wyatts. I will make sure that the seven deities will make sure that I delete you are as wonderful as. Now, as it stands, Matt Hardy is in some middle ground with his whole broken persona, if you can say. Now, the perfect way for Matt Hardy to become fully broken is to have Bray Wyatt cause Matt Hardy to be his full broken Self, either by attacking him in the most brutalist fashion, or by kidnapping Jeff and doing something to him, or something along those lines. And plus, the way it is, and if you have it like that, it can amp up the personality and the amp up the feud for a big event like SummerSlam or Survivor Series for Bray Wyatt and Broken Matt Hardy to go one-on-one -on -one with each other. Now, it has a potential goldmine to be one of the best things in the world right now, these two against each other, having the crowd say, Delete! 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 While the lights of the Wyatts come on, it could be a potential gold mine. Now let's talk about who could potentially win this glorious feud. I mean, I feel as though generally it would serve Bray Wyatt more good to have beaten Broken Matt Hardy. And I'm going to tell you why that is. It's because Bray Wyatt, since he has debuted, he's had trouble been... He has been having trouble being taken seriously. I mean, it seems as though no matter how close he gets, WWE always pulls the rug out from underneath him. And Matt Hardy has already proven himself to be an established superstar and an established competitor. So at this point, it, re it wouldn't really matter if Broken Matt Hardy were to lose the feud. And if anything, it would just serve more for Bray. Now, it's just all this stuff right here is Matt Hardy has already proven himself as an established tag team competitor. And he would be fine if he lost the feud. But the same could not be said for Bray Wyatt. Just imagine if Bray Wyatt were able to beat broken Matt Hardy. Then finally maybe he can be taken seriously as he was the one 
and only to have knocked off the great and bro brilliant Broken Matt Hardy. Now, I'm not saying that Bray Wyatt should just dominate Matt Hardy throughout this feud because it generally makes sense and it makes it more interesting to have Bray Wyatt and Broken Matt Hardy go back and forth in an all-out war. And then, and only then, after they had the most amazing war in the world, should Bray Wyatt win to demonstrate himself as someone to be taken seriously. However, WWE tends to make really stupid decisions sometimes, especially when it comes to Bray Wyatt. Like having him lose to Roman Reigns, having him lose to John Cena, and having him lose to Randy Orton. When winning those feuds with those big names could have made him someone amazing and someone to have been taken seriously. Now, I just had an amazing thought. It's just, what if Broken Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt had one of these matches, had one of their signature matches in the Hardy compound or, or the Bray Wyatt compound after, of course, it's been rebuilt because, of course, after everything with Randy Orton, but after it's been built and they have the war with Brother Nero, Vanguard One, Senor Benjamin, it would just be the best thing in the world right now. We need this feud to happen, well not right now, but we need this feud to happen. And like I said, there are plenty of good things that come down on the line. So good things come to those who wait. And we just have to do that, is wait and we will see the broken brilliance meeting Bray Wyatt. The Eater of Worlds. I know these are terrible, these are t terrible impersonations, but I have to try, right? I, but still, that's not the point. Still... Broken Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt, I'm telling you right now, it's going to happen. Well, that's been it for this episode of The Excellent Reviewer. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think on the potential of Bray Wyatt against Broken Matt Hardy. Ah, yes, wonderful. Do me a favor. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments section below. And if you want to see more content like this, you're going to want to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. You're going to do all that great stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. I couldn't be here without you. I couldn't be doing this without you. So thank you so much. I've been Samuel V, a.k.a. The Excellent Reviewer, and I will see you all as soon as I can.